We're joined now by Dr. Reinhard Grünwald from the Office of Technology Assessment at the German Parliament. What exactly can we expect from this reactor? Yeah, well, it's the, the ITER reactor is one step in a big research program. The next step would be a, a demonstration reactor, uh, followed by the first commercial power plants, maybe in 50 years' time. That's, that's the plan of the fusion, fusion research community. But if this plan uh, will finally take place, uh, has still lots of questions associated with them. Critics uh, say that these billions of euros should be spent on renewable energy instead. What are the pros and the cons of continuing to pump money into fusion technology? Well, in my opinion, uh, it can't be wrong to, to spend more money into energy research as such because it's such a big problem. You know, we are struggling with climate change issues. Uh, and it can also not be uh, wrong to, to open new options for, for solving this energy uh, problem. But as you said, it, it, it's uh, a question if this amount of money, you're talking about uh, 10 billion euros for the ITER reactor, but the whole research program would be something like 60 to 80 billion euros over the next 50 years. And if you're talking about that kind of money, then you can still raise the question, is it, is it well spent on, on this path or maybe it's better spent on another path? Well, um, putting the money to the side for a moment, what are the other main objections to the project? Well, of course, there is uh, this uh, radioactivity uh, issue that uh, the radioactive in inventory in, in, the, in the reactor is, is comparable to uh, nuclear uh, fission reactors. It, it will uh, lose the reac uh, reactivity uh, quicker, but uh, you, you need to develop the materials uh, for that, and that's, that's still an open research uh, question, of course. Could fusion power help us move away from using fossil fuels completely? Well, uh, we have to move away from fossil fuels, that's for sure, because of climate change. But uh, um, if nucle uh, nuclear fusion will take a part in that, it's still an open question. You know, it's a 50 years time horizon uh, to, for the for first uh, electricity being created by uh, uh, fusion. So that's a, the big question. And uh, I think we have to solve this problem anyway. If we are managing to, to make fusion fly or not, it's basically not the question. We have to deal with this problem anyway. What do you think the main energy source of the future will be? Well, renewables, of course, is, is uh, one big uh, part in the game, and the other uh, part is uh, energy efficiency. We have to cut down on our energy use, so these are the two building blocks of uh, the future energy supply. And if fusion can play a role, then that's fine. But as I said, we have to solve the problem, irrespective if we can manage fusion to happen or not. All right, Dr. Reinhard Grünwald, thank you very much for joining us here in the studio today.